following takes place between 0 minutes and 8 minutes. Events occur in real time. To create the basic real-time clock, click the text tool and make a box the size of your screen. Choose the DS Digital font, which you can download at this link, and type whichever numbers you want. Then center it and size appropriately. Choose a dark yellow color, zoom into your timeline and make the layer exactly one second. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl D to duplicate it as many times as you need. Scoot each separate layer over to line up directly with the previous layer. Click each layer and change the text numbers to move up one every second. And now you've just created a basic real-time clock. To add video under this clock, first create a white plane and a black plane. Place both on the very bottom with the black plane on top. Click the rectangular mask tool and draw a rectangle around your time. The white plane is just so you can see where your mask is. Now delete the white plane. In a different composite shot, drag your clock composite into the new one and you'll have a single clock square layer. Drag all of the different video layers into the timeline. Hide whichever ones you're not working with by clicking the eye. Resize each video layer to fit behind the clock and still be in the screen. You can also offset the timing of each video to come in at a different point during the ticking like so. And now you have a very interesting real-time effect. Say you only have three video layers. Make one of them as big as necessary and drag it under the clock. Use a rectangular mask to make it fit. Put your other two video layers on top, and now you have a more focused shot on the bottom video. If you have two camera shots of the same thing, you can line up the timing and use masking to give the impression of multiple cameras, as demonstrated here. Again, you can offset the timing of one of the videos to come in at a different point as long as it still matches up with the other video. To create the following text and the pixelation at the beginning, make another text box the size of the screen and type whatever you need. Center it and use the Bank Gothic font, 
which can be downloaded here. Make the numbers in the first T a slightly bigger font. Drag the witness protection effect onto the text. Increase the size to cover the whole thing. Raise the block size level and hit the keyframe button. Also set opacity to zero and keyframe it, and move forward on the timeline. Increase opacity to 100 and decrease block size to zero. Copy, paste, and flip these keyframes at the end of the clip to duplicate the effect. Now that the effects are finished, it's time for some viewer comments. The Ponky's Vids and Lori XD asked, Is this saying what is an iPhone? And can you get this app on the iPad? No, you see this mouse right here? And the software name right here? HitFilm is a PC-only computer program. VFX Studio is the name of my show, and it has no connection with the app of the same name that is available on iTunes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like rating below, add this video to favorites, or share it. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions for new effects or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. You can also follow me on Twitter at VFXS. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.